Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this channel, we provide the in-depth knowledge of different programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python. In our series of class 12 Python, in the last class, we have already discussed two programs, how to calculate the square and the cube of a number. And I have given you the homework to solve that problem. I think everybody has done it. If any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. So today we are going to discuss some other topics like operators and mutable and immutable types. First we will discuss mutable and immutable types. The python objects can be broadly categorized into two mutable and immutable types in simple words changeable or modifiable and non-modifiable. As we have already discussed, Python treat everything as an object whether it's an integer or a character or a float or a double or a x or a y or a z. Python treat everything as an object. The Python objects can be broadly divided into two categories. One is mutable and second one is immutable. Mutable means it can be changeable or modifi modifiable whereas immutable it is non-modifiable. Let's discuss one by one. First we will discuss immutable types. The immutable types are those that can never change their value in place. Example, integer, floating point numbers, boolean, strings, tuples. These are the examples of the data types which are immutable means they cannot be changed at their place. I'm, I can write a equal to 10 then I can write a equal to 20. But 10 cannot be changed at that same place. What happens? When I write a equal to 10, what is a here? a is a reference that we have already discussed in the previous classes. a is a reference referring to 10. Now when I write a equal to 20, what happens? That a will stop re referring to 10 and it will start referring to 20. Means 10 is not changed. What changes actually? The reference is changes which is now referring to 20. That is why we have written the immutable types are those that can never change their value in place example integer floating point numbers boolean strings and triples in this type variables names are stored as reference to a value object a equal to 10 a is what a is a reference in this type variable names are stored as reference to a value object each time we change the value reference memory addresses changes as you write a equal to 10 a is referring to 10 as you write a equal to 20 then value at a is not change it will start referring that is located in another location that we will discuss in just few minutes let's take an example here we are having p is equal to 5 5 is what 5 is an integer constant then you write q is equal to p and r equal to 5 now p q and r are having the same value 5 5 is stored in Q and 5 is stored in R. So P is referring to 5, Q is referring to 5 and R is referring to 5. Now if it is a value type data, then 3 variables will be allocated and 5 will be stored at 3 different places. P holds 5, Q holds 5 and R holds 5. But in Python, everything is an object or you can say every data type is a reference type data P, Q and R and R are the reference referring to same value that is 5. Getting my point? See here. All variables having same values reference and the same value object P, Q, R will all the references to the same integer. Now see in the memory. Here we are having 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the different integer literals or constants. Now P, Q, R is what? These are the reference referring to the same location at which 5 is stored. Suppose 5 is stored at 500, so P holds 500, Q holds 500 and R also holds 500. So let's take an example. Now suppose the address of this 5 is, suppose, I think it's not working, hold on please. Now see here. Now suppose it is located at 500. Now this is P, this is Q and this is R. P is holding 500, Q is holding 500 and R is also holding 500. 
value is same now as you write q is equal to 6 then suppose it is 600 this q will hold start instead of 500 it will store 600 it will start referring to this location why because python only supports reference type data it doesn't support value type data as in the traditional languages like c and c++ is supported getting my point all variables having same values reference and the same value object p q r will all refer to the same integer fine next when the next statement executed p is equal to 10 r is equal to 7 and q is equal to r then p is holding what 10 it will start pointing to 10 r is holding 7 it will start pointing to 7 q is equal to r r will again pointing to q is again pointing to 7 this is how this is the thing that is happening in the memory make it very clear in your mind ki python only supports reference type data whether it's an integer or a character or a float or a, any object whether it's a predefined or a user defined it always supports reference type data means actually data is stored at somewhere and what is this p q and r these all are what these are references referring to a particular location that is why it is it is able to support the uh, python tabhi possible hai ki python is supporting dynamic type language ki wo thodi der mein p equal to 10 it is referring to integer just next time mein you can write p is equal to hello now p start pointing to a string this p is same reference in one statement is it, it is referring to an integer in another statement it start referring to an string getting my point i think this is clear if any doubt you can ask me in the comment box next is mutable type that is modifiable mutable means that in the same memory address new values can be stored as and when we want means like in immutable it is referring to a particular location whereas mutability means that in the same memory address new values can be stored and when we want the mutable types are those whose values can be changed in the place there are only three mutable types make it very clear in your mind there are only three mutable types available in python first one is list which is acting as an array second one is sets and third one is dictionaries that we will discuss in the future classes what is list what is sets and what is dictionary here we are taking an example of list list is like an array what is array array is a variable which can store multiple value at same point of time so here we are declaring a list arr is equal to 246 and then next line when i write arr1 index always start from 0 to size minus 1 always start from 0 1 and 2 arr0 means 2 arr1 means 4 and arr2 means 6 so when i write arr1 equal to 33 it changes the arr2 to 33 and 6 means we are able to make the changes to the arr that is why what we have written mutability means that in the same memory address new values can be stored as and when we want fine next in python this is an important note in python each variable referring to that value actually stores that memory address of the value multiple variables can refer to a value internally python keeps count of how many variables are referring to a value this is an example the same location is referring with three different references that we have already written in python each variable referring to a that value actually stores the word memory address of the value multiple variables can refer to a value that internally python keeps count of how many variables are referring to that value means five ko kitne variables reference kar rahe tab tak usko wo memory mein rakhega once any location is not referred by any variable it will free the memory and return back to the operating system तो वो क्या करेगा ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम को रिटर्न कर देगा वो क्या बोलेगा ये फोर बाइट्स अब फ्री हो गए हैं नो बडी इज रिफरिंग टू दिस फोर बाइट्स यू टेक इट बैक एंड एलोकेट टू सम अदर एप्लीकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू दी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम गेटिंग माय पॉइंट 
नेक्स्ट वन इज म्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट लिस्ट डिक्शनरी एंड सेट्स आर म्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट वेर इज इम्यूटेबल टाइप्स आर इंटीजर फ्लोट कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रिंग एंड ट्यूपल्स आर वॉट इम्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी अदरवाइज वी विल प्रोसीड फर्दर तो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट म्यूटेबल एंड इम्यूटेबल नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस इवेल्युएटिंग अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेशन ना वट आर अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेशन प्लस माइनस डिवाइड मल्टीप्लीकेशन एप एक्सपोनशियल मॉडलस ऑपरेटर दिस आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेशन बट देर आर सर्टन रूल्स टू सॉल्व एन एक्सप्रेशन और टू इवॉल्व द वैल्यू फ्रॉम एक्सप्रेशन वट आर दोज रूल्स दैट वी हैव टू फॉलो वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द वैल्यूज पाइथन फॉलोज दीज रूल्स टू इवेल्युएट एक्सप्रेशन डिटरमाइंस द ऑर्डर ऑफ इवेल्युएशन इन एन एक्सप्रेशन दैट ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंस वट इज इट मीन्स नॉट ओनली इन सी नॉट ओनली इन सी प्लस प्लस इन पाइथन ऑल्सो देर इज समथिंग नॉन एज प्रेसिडेंस ऑफ प्रायोरिटी एंड सेकेंड वन इज एसोसिएटिविटी मेक इट वेरी क्लियर इन योर माइंड कि द ऑपरेटर्स विच आर एंजॉइंग द हायर प्रेसिडेंस और प्रायोरिटी दैट कैनॉट बी चेंज बाय द यूजर दैट ऑलरेडी डिफाइन बाय द पाइथन द ऑपरेटर्स विच आर एंजॉइंग द हायर प्रायोरिटी विल बी सॉल्व बिफोर देन द ऑपरेटर एंजॉइंग द लोअर प्रायोरिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई राइट ए इक्वल टू टेन प्लस थ्री तो हाउ मेनी ऑपरेटर्स आर देयर लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल आई विल गिव वन एग्जाम्पल सपोज If I write a equal to ten plus three, so what is a ten and three? These are operands. What is plus and equal to? These are operators. So how many operators are there? One is equal to and one is plus. So first plus will be assignment. Will be according. It will decided according to the precedence or the priority. The operators which are enjoying the higher priority. will be solved before then the operator enjoying the lower priority and if two operators are having same priority then what happens associativity comes into scene what comes into scene associativity comes into scene it may be left to right or right to left like for example if i write a equal to b equal to 10 now here we are having two operators which are having the same precedence why because both are assignment operator ab pehle b a equal to b hoga ki b equal to 10 hoga then associativity comes into scene some are having right to left and some are having left to right this assignment operator is having right to left so first 10 will be assigned to b then b will be assigned to a getting my point तो मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज वेन एवर एन एक्सप्रेशन इज इवेल्युएटेड द ऑपरेटर इज सॉल्व ऑपरेटर्स इज सॉल्व अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रेसिडेंस और द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ द ऑपरेटर्स द ऑपरेटर्स विच आर एंजॉइंग द हायर प्रायोरिटी विल बी सॉल्व बिफोर देन द ऑपरेटर्स एंजॉइंग द लोअर प्रायोरिटी इफ टू ऑपरेटर्स आर हैविंग सेम प्रायोरिटी देन वॉट हैपन्स एसोसिएटिविटी कम्स इन टू सीन इट मे बी राइट टू लेफ्ट और लेफ्ट टू राइट Let's discuss. Python follows these rules to evaluate expression. Determines the order of evaluation in an expression. The operator according to the operator precedence that we have already discussed. Now, from where we can see the precedence, it is already decided. You can get in every book what are the orders or what are the priorities of an operator in Python. As per the evaluation order for each of these sub expression, generally value operator value tend modulus three. Evaluate each of this operand as an argument. No doubt. Suppose if I write like this. Now, if I write like this, a equal to b plus three plus six. So first b plus b b equal to five. So five plus three. First, this will be solved. So its place, what will happen? Eight will happen. Plus six will happen. As per the evaluation order for each of the sub expression, this is what this is your sub expression. Generally, value operator value value operator value ten modulus three is an example. Evaluate each of its operand as an argument. So, पहले आप इसको evaluate कर लीजिए. Performs an implicit conversion promoting int to float and boolean to integer. So there are some implicit conversion and explicit conversion that we are going to discuss in the next class. So usually. 
पाइथन प्रोमोट द डेटा टाइप विच इज एट हायर लेवल लाइक इंट टू फ्लोट अगर इंट फ्लोट का कैलकुलेशन हो रहा है तो रिजल्ट विल बी इन फ्लोट एंड बुलियन इंट का कैलकुलेशन हो रहा है तो रिजल्ट विल बी इन इंटीजर दिस इज इम्प्लीसिट कन्वर्शन डन बाई दी पाइथन तो परफॉर्म्स एनी इम्प्लीसिट कन्वर्शन दिस इज ऑटोमेटिकली डन देन कंप्यूट कंप्यूट इट्स रिजल्ट बेस्ड ऑन दी ऑपरेटर इस ऑपरेटर के बेस पे आप इसको कंप्यूट कर लीजिए रिप्लेस दी सब एक्सप्रेशन विद दी कंप्यूटर रिजल्ट एंड कैरी ऑन दी एक्सप्रेशन इवॉल्यूटेड इसकी जगह बी प्लस थ्री की जगह क्या रख लीजिए एट एट इज वॉट एट इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस सब एक्सप्रेशन रिपीट टिल द फाइनल रिजल्ट इज ऑपटेन इफ आइदर आर रिपीट टिल द फाइनल रिजल्ट इज ऑपटेन तो एट प्लस सिक्स दैट इज फोर्टीन दैट फोर्टीन विल बी असाइन टू Go through this. If any doubt, you can ask me. Next is if either argument is a complex number, the other is converted into complex number. This is an implicit casting that we have discussed just before. Otherwise, if the argument is a floating point number, the other is converted into floating point number. This is again an implicit casting. No conversion if both the operands are integer. So, if integer is integer, then common sense is that there is no. डेटा टाइप आएगा नहीं तो इंटीजर इंटीजर रिजल्ट विल बी ऑलवेज इंटीजर लेट सी सम एग्जांपल्स हियर ए कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री कॉमा सिक्स थ्री इज असाइन टू ए एंड सिक्स इज असाइन टू बी तो वेन आर एट सी इज इक्वल टू बी डिवाइड बाई ए तो ऑपरेटर इज स्लैश विच ऑलवेज रिजल्ट इन दी फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट नंबर तो स्लैश का हमेशा रिजल्ट किस में आएगा फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट नंबर तो वेन आर एट सी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स डिवाइड बाई थ्री तो सी होल्ड्स टू पॉइंट जीरो इंस्टेड ऑफ टू वाई बिकॉज स्लैश का रिजल्ट हमेशा किस में आता है फ्लोटिंग वन दिस इज प्री डिफाइन दिस कैन नॉट बी चेंज मेक इट वेरी क्लियर इन योर माइंड बिकॉज वेन एवर यू लर्न सम लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू फॉलो सर्टन रूल्स दैट इज गिवन बाई दी डेवलपर ऑफ दैट लैंग्वेज जैसे यू कैनॉट चेंज द प्रिसिडेंस ऑफ एन ऑपरेटर यू कैनॉट चेंज द नंबर ऑफ की वर्ड्स You cannot change the associativity of an operator. You cannot change the rules to name an identifier. You cannot change the rules to evaluate an expression. That you have to follow. That is why we are saying that we are learning Python, na? If we can do according to ourselves, then it is not at all possible to run a program. Getting my point? Let's see another example. When I write a comma b. Equal to three comma c. C is equal to b double slash a. So this double slash a operator is intent. Result will be always an integer. So six divided by three. C is equal to two. And when I write a comma b is equal to three comma six point zero. So c is b modulus a. The so operator is modulus in float. Result always in float. That you can see in a chart. That which operator gives the which result. That we have to follow. एंड देर इज नो नीड टू रिमेंबर ना अननेसेसरी अगर कोई चीज़ ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल है उसको याद करके वो भी आपको हंड्रेड परसेंट याद नहीं होगा यू विल बी गेट कन्फ्यूज कि किसका प्रेसिडेंस आई है कौन रिजल्ट इन टीचर देता है कौन फ्रोड देता है जस्ट मेक अ चार्ट एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग प्रोग्राम गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो आई थिंक दिस इज इनफ फॉर टूडे क्लास इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल सी समथिंग नोन एज रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर दैन इम्प्लिसिट कास्टिंग explicit casting that we are going to discuss in the next class for today i think it is enough if any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will try to reply the answer as early as possible and if you like the contents of this channel please like share and subscribe as much you can thank you very much have a nice day